outside it looks like winter, but inside it sounds and feels like summer. The crickets like it uh, very hot. Millions of tiny crickets that Darren Golden hopes will be big business. At final harvest, there's about three and a half, four million crickets in this room. Million? Million, yep. And that will produce wow. about 3,000 pounds of cricket meat. For people to eat. Golden and his brothers own Entomo Farms, where they raise more than 100 million crickets at a time for human consumption. It's about opening people's minds to the idea. Crickets have become known for being protein packed, but also high in iron, fiber, calcium, amino acids, and B12. Eating bugs like crickets, but also beetles, ants, even caterpillars, isn't a new idea. The UN estimates at least 2 billion people around the world include insects in their diets. Still, for many Canadians, this could be hard to swallow. <laughs> But once the crickets are harvested, cleaned, roasted, and processed... You're grinding the entire cricket. Yes. Legs, antennas. Everything. It looks like any other protein powder. And it's on its way to being as accessible. And Tomo Farms struck a deal with Loblaw to make a President's Choice branded cricket powder. It represents so many things, you know, it, it, it's a complete validation of our category. It takes us out of the niche market into the mainstream. So, you know, this really is the holy grail for us in terms of the next big step. But it is an unusual move for a major Canadian grocer. I was very surprised because, you know, the North American diet is pretty conservative. Um, and we've always been known as the, as the land of plenty, so where crickets and insects are the uh, answer to the food crisis in the world. We've never had that crisis here in, in North America. Still, it could be just what Loblaw needs to fill its growing natural food section. People are looking for something that doesn't have all the other stuff that we can't pronounce, as, you know, those 26 letter words. So cricket powder is cricket powder. I mean, it's just ground up bugs, right? Some other major chains like Metro and Sobe say they're interested in insect protein, but don't carry it yet. Whereas Whole Foods, known for being a high-end natural and organic grocer, is against it, saying we don't carry any edible insects because it goes against our quality standards for ingredients. Yet the industry continues to grow. Vancouver-based Coast Protein uses the same cricket powder to make protein bars. We don't outwardly shout that we're a cricket product. We don't have photos of crickets on all our bars. Because they know that can turn consumers and companies off. We see that all the time when people be a bit like, oh, I'm not quite sure about this product. And then we see cut up samples or they see cut up samples that we give them and they go, oh, it's a protein bar, I get it. Um, and that just really reduces one of the boundaries to getting into a new food source. But if you really want to eat whole crickets, and Tomo Farms sells those as well. Okay. That one's got lots of flavoring on it, so it's a good it's one. It's got wings as well. Wings and legs. Yeah. It's okay. a whole cricket. All right, here we go. Yeah, it tastes like a cracker. Yeah, just like food. <laughs> just like food. <laughs> Whether or not Canadians are ready to swap their crackers for crickets, or blend bugs into their morning smoothie. The PC branded protein powder could be the high profile boost the industry needs. We don't know how fast this is gonna grow, but we feel we're pretty well equipped. You feel like you're ready when they're ready. Today I do, yes. <laughs> Tomorrow could be different. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Norwood, Ontario.